if we have the same revelation, the original faith has been restored back. If it hadn't, your heart hadn't been turned. See the veil, look brother, sister, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. I know, I know Paul is using Israel in tight, but he's talking about the church. Amen. And he said, nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. The it there, go look it up. You know what that it is? The heart. When the heart shall be turned to the Lord, the veil is taken away. When this message turns your heart, every denominational veil is ripped off of your heart. And you see Christ in all of his reality. And you can say, I see the unveiling of God. And without this message and the ministry that has the power to turn the heart, then there's still a veil upon you. And no matter how much you study the Bible, if that veil ain't removed, take, take that, them Jews over there. Not all of them, but take that group over there. No matter how much they read this Old Testament, they'll never see Christ as long as there's a veil there. That's why Brother Ben told us Gentiles, stay away from it. He said it, thus saith the Lord, stay away from Israel. Look, if God was gonna send anybody to Israel, there ain't gonna be some pastor. There ain't gonna be some laity that enjoys going to Israel. God ain't using you to turn Israel back. If he'd used anybody, it would have been a prophet. And when he got to Cairo, Egypt, the Holy Ghost stopped him. Said, ain't time now for them to get there, Elijah. Didn't tell him he wasn't going, but it wasn't time now. God's got an Elijah for them. But it ain't our Elijah. This is our Elijah, and they got theirs coming. And when their Elijah shows up, that veil's gonna be taken off of their hearts too. And they're gonna read that same Bible, but this time they'll see the Messiah. Is that right? That's the power of revelation. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Look, look how easy it is for you to accept him as the fulfill of Malachi 4. The next man can't do it. There's a veil on his heart. Somebody's blinded him. Look, you say, well, our gospel's hid. No, it ain't. It's not hid. If it is hid, it's hid to them that are lost. It ain't hid to us. He's in full view of the elected in this age. He's tore every veil off of himself. And every denominational veil has been rent. Look, Rome may have had a sowing party and sowed the veil up at Nicaea, but God came in these last days and rent that Roman veil. Brought the mercy seat back out in plain view of us. We know he's Jesus Christ the same yesterday, day, and forever. They can't hide that from us now. So if that's true, and it is, and we have the same, stay with me, we have the same gospel, same revelation, same faith, same original word, same original faith, then we can say with Brother Branham and understand why he could say it. Alpha has now become Omega. Amen. You can understand in Revelation 1 when John was carried away in the spirit on the Isle of Patmos and that voice said, I'm Alpha and Omega. Never claimed to be everything in between. Right. He wasn't everything in between. Right. Between the second and the sixth, there was a lot of men's ideals added. Truth, men, a lot of men didn't take heed how they built upon the man that laid the foundation for the Gentile church. And all of it's going to suffer loss. But in the last days, it's revealed by fire. The pillar of fire comes. Goes right back down through them church ages and picks up what's man and what's God. Come on now. Show the truth that was preached for this one. Truth must be preached. And he didn't bring a new message. He gathered all them loose ends. God showed him what was man and what was God. Hallelujah. And in the last days, he restores us back to Paul's message. So he's not everything in between. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and he's the end. He's the first message and he's the last message. Amen. That's, right. That's the case tonight. Amen. The original faith, the original word, the original gospel has now been restored to the church and our hearts have been turned back to it. Amen.